sasa niaje we mwega de mwega oana atia oya ore edinadi chemune yemune Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm joining you live from Nakuru City, the fourth largest city here in the Republic of Kenya. And the words you are previously hearing are some of the greetings from the various communities that live in this city. It's a cosmopolitan city. You find people from all over Kenya that live in the city. And today we'll be exploring the city, Nakuru city in detail and giving you a real vibe of this place. I'm really happy to be here. In fact, I'm super excited. Nakuru is one of my favorite cities in the world and it certainly has a very good vibe. So if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching to inspire for travel welcome to nakuru going to kick off the walk right at the roundabout here in Nakuru city and then we're going to walk down and explore some of the places here in Nakuru I'm very excited to be here today guys and it's a different scenery and of course in here in Kenya you have people from all walks of life that live here and of course they have their own dialect of Swahili which is spoken here which is different from what you will hear in Tanzania but nevertheless it's a beautiful city and the weather now it's around 26 degrees Celsius here in Nakuru so it's quite a warm day today and um, a little cloudy but hopefully the Sun will come out some more later so it's very busy it's a morning time the time now it's 10 30 a.m. so people are warming up getting ready for the day getting ready to to do business so we'll have a wonderful time guys so thank you for watching inspire for travel and let's explore Nakuru Nakuru is a city in the Rift Valley region in the Republic of Kenya. It currently serves as the capital of Nakuru County. As of 2019, Nakuru had an urban and rural population of over 600,000 inhabitants, making it the largest urban center in the Rift Valley. It lies about 1,850 meters above sea level. You are witnessing a morning scene here in Nakuru City. Indeed, agriculture is one of the backbone of the economy here in Nakuru. So you certainly find many farms in the surrounding areas. And when you go to the market, you'll see a variety of different food produce. So you'll witness some of these things today. I'm very much impressed with the developments I'm seeing in Nakuru City in comparison to the last time I was here. 
I'm seeing some new infrastructural developments that's been happening. I'm seeing a new supermarket in the in the city, so that's really good. And I'm liking to see the progress that the city is definitely making. So um, you'll notice as we walk, you're seeing a lot of people were on motorbikes. These are motorbike taxis as the border border guys and you also have bicycle taxi as well in the city so we kind of saw similar vibe as well when we were in Arusha but I would say I'm, I'm seeing more of the border borders and the bicycle taxi here in Nakuru it's definitely in comparison to the other cities in Kenya it has a great cosmopolitan feel um, some of the cities in Kenya you will possibly find specific um, tribal groups or communities but in Nakuru you will find a variety of people like I was saying from all over Kenya and the language of Kiswahili the dialect spoken in Kenya is definitely the lingua franca that is used to communicate amongst people so that's re a really nice vibe what I really like when I visit Nakuru So in this section of town here in Nakuru City, you will find a variety of uh, various businesses from chemists to supermarkets and other small businesses as well. And you will also find restaurants. Now, a key point of interest is, of course, the Shell gas station, which you've just seen. And it's very easy to locate here in Nakuru City. So it's, it's quite good at this road, a lot of businesses. And right down to the end, you'll also find a Naivas supermarket. It's a very popular uh, supermarket in Kenya. And there are quite a few branches here in Nakuru, at least over five different branches of the Naiv Naivas can be found here, which is quite good. So if you're looking for certain food pr um, produce maybe you you have in your home country you'll find it here they do have international things that they sell in there so that's quite good and um as it's morning time you can see it's quite busy i will say nakuru is definitely a, a busy city um in comparison to even the third largest city in kenya which is kisumu so business is booming here guys and uh, along this road I've been walking you'll also see bajajis which is the tuk-tuks as well and they can take you around different places in Nakuru and you can also get taxis and there's also the um, Wasili app you can use that's like a local um, version of Uber Wasili and it's quite popular in Nakuru so it's definitely a easy city in my opinion to navigate around especially if you're new here it might be overwhelming when you first come for the first time but after a while you get used to it and everything is quite easy to locate and um, yeah so that's a positive feature of the the city So the building to the left 
is a building um, I didn't see when I was last here. It was under construction, but now I can see actually businesses have moved in. So there's a lot of shops. There's like a cake shop there. There's also food stuff being sold. And on the second floor, I believe there's a restaurant there. And plans are on the way as well to expand to take it to the th to a third floor. So there'll be businesses up there. So th this is quite good. I'm liking to the development I'm seeing. So we're coming up to Naivas, which is right at the end of this road here before the by the roundabout. So that's the Naivas supermarket and the other branches and other sections of the city as well. Now there is an old saying that goes something like this. Necessity is the mother of all inventions. And I would say that from my observ observation traveling through Kenya, definitely um, Kenyans have a very good work ethic, very hard working from what I'm seeing. And we're walking to a place where you'll find a lot of people selling various clothing for, for men, women, children. So when you're walking through these parts, you will get people that will approach you, of course, because they're trying to get customers. And um, that's something you've got to be aware of when you go to some of the side streets in the back to the markets and stuff like that. So this is if something you're not used to, then, you know, if you're not interested, kindly let them know you're not interested and you just carry on walking. But these are some of the things you'll see when you travel to Kenya and other, other places throughout the continent of Africa. <laughs> So in Nakuru, some of the three major backbones of the economy are first agriculture, manufacturing and tourism. 
for example you have lake nakuru which is a popular tourist attraction nearby many supermarkets and businesses were actually started first in nakuru for example gilani's and stuff like that and agriculture very integral part in the economy in nakuru and things from um, maize to beans and different things potatoes tomatoes all of these things are farmed in this region and it's a reflection of what you'll be witnessing here in the market so i'm just going to give you a tour of the market area and this by no means is the full tour of the market it's quite big i was only able to film certain section of it but as you can see it's a variety of different fruits vegetables and stuff like that so definitely if you if you're into organic food produce then nakuru is definitely a good spot to be definitely a good place to be